unfortunately, the baseball world got some heartbreaking news today. Uh, the star, and I mean star, starting pitcher for the Miami Marlins passed away uh, in a boat in a boating accident. Uh, he was one of the best young pitchers in baseball. If any of you guys follow baseball, and you guys know I follow baseball heavily, you know it's my favorite uh, sport. You know, and I'm heavily into fantasy baseball. You know, I watch as much baseball as I can when I'm able to, and it's it's crazy to know that uh, you wake up today and you find out that you know he's he's passed away. You know. Um, who it's, it's, it's just crazy, man. Today's game was, uh, canceled and you just see, uh, you look on Twitter, you just see a, a whole bunch of people just in disbelief, you know, he, he was one of the, the youngest, you know, stars in the game, you know, uh, he was only 24 years old, born in 1992, um, you know, and to find out that he passed away in a boating accident is, it's crazy. You know, I was, uh, I went to sleep last night and, uh, you know, I'm in my playoffs for fantasy baseball and my opponent has been killing me all week. He had, you know, one of the worst records, but he had the best team. It's just, uh, you know, a lot of injuries, but he snuck his way into the playoffs and I'm getting shellacked. You know, I'm down 50 points. And he had Jose Fernandez, who's, you know, supposed to pitch today. You know, so uh, I, I go on ahead, I wake up, and the, one of my homeboys, who is the commissioner of the league, texted me and said, Omar is not going to be able to win a championship. So I look at the text, and Omar's like, you know, what the hell? Jose Fernandez died? Like, there goes my season. And I'm just, what? So first thing I do is I go to Twitter, and I go on ahead, and I take a look. Uh, what the hell is going on? And sure enough, I, I find out that he, he passed away. You know, he was 16 and 8 this season, uh, 253 strikeouts. Uh, every time you've seen him, he had a big smile on his face. Again, if any of you guys are into baseball, you guys know uh, just exactly the type of personality he was. Now, I had a few players from the Marlins, which would make me watch Marlins games due to the fact that uh, you know, I have the MLB TV subscription, so I was able to watch four games, you know, live. And I always watched a lot of Marlins games. You know, uh, I'm in a keeper league, so I have D. Gordon from last year. I had David Phelps when he was out of the bullpen. I have A.J. Ramos. So I watch Marlins games a lot, you know, uh, mainly to watch D. Gordon. But I, I seen a good 70, 80 percent of Jose Fernandez pitching. And he was amazing at what he did. Like his, he had a craft of pitching, and it was uh, it was phenomenal. You know, uh, I remember just, just watching him, and I I want I wanted him in next year's draft first first round. It's like if I get Jose Fernandez, man, because he is Lord knows what he would have been able to accomplish uh, if such a tragic incident didn't happen. You know, because uh, he's so great when I'm talking about only 24 years old and you know to potentially be a top five pitcher this young this dominant is oh my goodness it's 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 crazy man it's it is absolutely devastating you know uh to find something like this out and I'm not like I'm not a Marlins fan you know uh you know I'm a Mets fan but being part of the NL East and everything, uh, you know, I, I got to see Marlins a lot, you know, watching the Mets because they played, uh, you know, throughout the season. And you did not want any part of Jose Fernandez, man. You did not want your team to, during that three-game series, you did not want Jose Fernandez to be one of them because it was damn near an automatic. It was going to be very difficult, very difficult for you to win knowing you're possibly going to go six, seven, eight innings with without scoring more than two runs, you know, and it's just I, I can't even believe it, man. Oh man, and if any of you guys are Marlins fans, any of you guys are, you know, because losing 
somebody like that is going to be devastating to a lot and a lot and a lot of people. You know, there's there's a lot of people that that look up to you know celebrities and and uh, you know look up to sports figures and things like that. You know, especially in the Latino community where you know there's we're not really in football, we're not really in basketball. But you know we're, we're we're in baseball, you know. So there's I'm, there's I'm sure hundreds of thousands, if not close to a million, if not even more, you know, people that really truly looked up to Jose Fernandez as inspiration, as you know, somebody who's able to you know not only just make it to the sport but be dominant and and be one of the best and and to be taken at such a young age is my goodness. It's heartbreaking, man. It's heartbreaking. You you don't you don't want to hear about any anybody passing away. You, you know it's 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 a, a difficult situation. But when you have a, a public figure of, of of somebody who's able to touch many people, of, of somebody that uh, can you know kids can look up to, you know, and they pass away young, and not even in his prime. He was only twenty four. He hasn't even reached his prime yet. He's, oh my goodness. It's heartbreaking. It's absolutely heartbreaking, man. Wow, I'm still in disbelief. I still can't believe it, man. That's, oh man, if any of you guys are, you know, baseball fans, I would love to know in the comment section because I know my channel was built around football gameplay, football gameplay. So I don't really speak about baseball too often you know but if i have any baseball fans you know let me love to know in the comment section you know leave in the comment section uh yeah just sad news today man very very sad news to find out unfortunately that jose fernandez at the age of 24 24 passed away ah <sighs> 